let's look inside the dishwasher. So I've already explained the turbothermic system to you. So here we have the detergent dispenser. Of course, um, I'm sure it can take both powder and tablets. It's nice and deep, so no problem there. Um, rinse aid. Um, that's where you uh, put in your rinse aid. It's got a little optical detector to tell you whether it's full or empty, and it's completely empty. But it's brand new. Bottom basket um, with removable plate racks, so both the left and the sorry, the right, not the left, the right, and the left hand side, uh, the plate racks are both removable. Cutlery tray at the front, nice and big. Um, <coughs> top rack. You've got your cup rack on the left hand side and as you can as you know stainless steel spray arm um, now all the spray arms uh, in Neela dishwashers especially the top rack um, on the top basket are uh, uh, plastic no longer um, stainless steel and not to forget let's see if I can get right in here but you'll see there is the top spray arm it's only a short one but there's still a, a rotating spray arm there. Um, but what's truly amazing is the bottom spray arm. Um, <coughs> very powerful jets, um, directional nozzles, uh, absolutely quite incredible. So you've got uh, nine nozzles there, uh, and I'm sure you get uh, an incredible water coverage. Uh, filter in the base of the dishwasher, um, so nice and large, but you can see actually how deep the sump is compared to um, a lot of the modern machines today. I'll just unscrew this. You'll notice um, you know, it's, uh, it's quite deep because they do take, um, this takes about 10 litres of water per fill. The filter also pretty much hasn't changed much, looks fairly similar. Except the base now is a conical filter, um, not a um, not uh, straight up and down. Screw that back in, nice and firm. Excellent. The top basket is quite adjustable. You've got these uh, nuts here. These little wheels you can undo and raise it or lower it in three different positions. Currently. It's in the middle position. Okay. Let's get down to business. So what I've done here is I've connected the machine up. I've got the water going into the sink. But I will be uh, taking out my new mealer to put the old mealer in. Um, <clears throat> something I forgot to mention to you uh, is... During the program, I did do a dry run before videotaping, just to make sure everything's going okay. Um, but what I noticed is that at the end of the main wash, the machine actually partially empties with water. So I reckon from what I noticed, probably over a few litres of water is drained and fresh water is taken in. So it seems like it does like a bit of a cool down rinse or, um, dilution wash, which is quite interesting. Um, Miele did this way back um, in their predecessors as well. So they obviously kept it in there. Not that they explain it in the instruction manual, but I did notice um, that going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a universal program. Um, today, I'll run the universal 65. Um, mind you, this machine is not the quietest. Um, look, it is standing in the middle of my kitchen. But um, let's start her up. Oh, I better switch her on first before I start her up. So that starts off with the drain. So it drains any water that might be in the sump.
the pump starts up straight away as the water's coming in. And I suppose it's doing this because it's so, it, uh, this pump is so powerful that if it filled and then started to wash, I think it would be too harsh on um, things won't move around too quickly. So you can actually hear it starting up, firing up. Last time I checked the, um, the pre-rinse isn't very, um, very long. Basically by the time it fills, it nearly drains. So I would calculate it's probably about two minutes. So it's a very quick pre-rinse. which I intend to do, um, it will uh, quieten the unit down somewhat. purposes for this exercise I've connected this machine to hot water um, simply because um, it uh, does use a lot of water um, and the heat up time would be longer uh, so I've connected to hot water so it does make the cycles relatively shorter um, but I'm sure it wouldn't um, impact on the cleaning results. My hot water system is about set at 55 degrees Celsius um, and anyway, the pre-rinse, it would just purge some of the cold water in the pipe anyway um, before getting onto the main wash. So it's taking in the next fill for the main wash. From the uh, brochure that I have somewhere hidden away in my uh, archives, um, the pump circulates 10 litres of water um, every three seconds. So it is a very powerful pump. Um, so if you calculate that in how many litres per minute, um, it would be quite considerable. Um, so it is a, a very powerful 